welcome back in my reading corner. Thank you so much for joining me again for yet another unboxing. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Cece and I do mostly bookish subscription box unboxings. Sometimes I do bookish stuff, sometimes I look at other subscription boxes, but most of the time it's bookish subscription boxes. And that's what we're doing today. We're looking at the magic chest. The Magic Chest is a bookish subscription box that ships from Germany, but it is an English-speaking box. So this might be a good contender for people in Europe because of, well, shipping costs. The Magic Chest costs 29.99 euros, and I have added the shipping to your location, translated that into your currency, and you can see on the screen right now what this box would cost you. The Magic Chest is concentrating on fantasy. It's not necessarily concentrating on YA, but I do believe we get mostly YA in here. It is one of those themed boxes where you get a book and this is fitting a theme and then you get several bookish items. Um, in one place they say it, uh, three to six and another said five to seven um, items that usually revolve around this theme. Oh yeah, and it is a newly released book, of course. Most of these themed boxes usually have a newly released book. All right, let's dive in right away. Can't wait to see this. This is not so weird for me to, this is one of the only boxes where I don't have to remove like the customs tape. So I know that nobody's went in here, which is exciting. Okay, let's see. And this is what it looks like. The theme of the month is Hidden Doors and we always have this be like a beautiful designed card. It's, it's not a spoiler card, it just says the theme of the month. And then this is the spoiler card and this is a very, very clever thing. Um, it is personalized and it is just a letter. It's very cheap to make. So if you're starting out for a book box, this is looking good and it's easily made. So you don't need to pay a lot for printing. All right, and then removing this stuff leads us to this view. It doesn't look that full, to be honest. I was a little bit, to be honest, disappointed by the last box. Let's hope that this one's a little bit better. So this seems to be a door, like, a, whoa. It says magic chest on it, and then this has like wooden parts, and you probably just stick it together like so. Oh, you have to glue it. So you're gluing this behind this, and then you're gluing this on top here, like so. You could have put it in here already like this. Like, I mean, funny how it suddenly fits without an issue. And then you put this up here, and then there you go. There's your little wooden fairy door. What am I supposed to be doing with this? Our next stop leads us to a door that has once been marked by one of the most remarkable wizards of all time. A simple round door on the hill is not only the home of Bilbo and Frodo Baggins, it's also the starting point of many wonderful adventures and the door that le lets strangers become friends in a magical quest for history, family and honor. The wonderful Tula from Tula Makes designed an exclusive... This is something else. All right, this is the correct. Lastly, so I picked the last item first because it was on top. Lastly, you'll find an exclusive Narnia-inspired door by Alchemy Engraving that can stand on your shelves or in the garden. Wonder how long that would last in a garden. It's not only fun to glue all wood pieces together. I'm probably not the crafty person, but no. <laughs> Um, and an awesome accessory. It's also a reminder that doors do not only separate space. By existing, they also create precious links to other spaces and entire worlds. And maybe a little fairy will slip through your hidden door sometime in the future. So I, I do think that for somebody who likes this kind of stuff, this is really, really cute. It's just not for me. So apologize my like faces, but this is just not for me. Let me know if this is something for you. This is most likely going into a giveaway if um, there's enough people who would like this kind of stuff. I don't want to put stuff in, in a giveaway that is so special that not a lot of people like it. But then again, something that not a lot of people like shouldn't be in a book box to, to begin with. All right. 
stop rambling, get to the next item. So the next item is wrapped in this paper. Seems to be a little notebook. It says, do you suppose she's a wildflower, Alice in Wonderland? It's a very, very simple notebook, so nothing too special. If you want to step through hidden doors and see what awaits you beyond, you're probably just the type of adventurer that would have lots of fun in Wonderland because it does not do to simply walk through doors without the proper documentation of such a magical incident. We've included a little chatty Nora notebook inspired by Alice in Wonderland. So this is like a dollar item. The design is beautiful, but this is just not enough for me. And it doesn't seem like there's a lot left. So because the next one is a bookmark with a very, very simple tassel on it. It's dangerous business going out of your front door. So it is a beautiful print, but this is like a glorified art print on like cardboard with a very, very simple tassel. Um, our next stop leads us to a door that has once been marked by one of the most remarkable wizards of all time. A simple round door on the hill is not only the home of Bilbo and Frodo Baggins, it's also the starting point of many wonderful adventures and the door that lets strangers become friends in a magical quest for history, family and honor. The wonderful Tula from Tula Makes designed an exclusive bookmark featuring the door and we hope you'll enjoy the door that will always welcome you around tea time. I'm sorry, but these are the three items that we're getting this time and this doesn't cut it for me. I am a little bit shocked to be honest. I hope this book is like so super special that it's like so expensive that this is the reason why we're getting this. Your FAQ says five to seven items, five to seven bookish items. And this is a cheap as notebook. This is a bookmark with a cheap tassel and a wooden door. So let's look at the book. The book is a foundry site. To be honest, I have not heard about it yet, but that doesn't mean anything. It does seem to be a book that's more expensive. Usually these type of books go for like 18, 19 US dollars and this says $27. I mean, this just has like 500 pages. I don't know why it's so much more expensive. Is it that much bigger? Let me, uh, I think this is the book that we got last time. And this is, 14 pounds 99 and this is 27 US dollars. There's the same like weight pretty much. I don't see a reason for it to be that expensive. It's very boring naked. Very boring. I like that this is like a matte cover. Are you ready to join us when we go in search of hidden doors? The book of the month is Foundry Side by Robert J. Bennett. It's very special. Yeah, that's what it says. The book of the month is Foundry Side by Robert J. Bennett. It's very special. It's not only the first destination in our adventure this month, it's also a book full of mysteries, conspiracies, old magic and more closed doors than we can count. And that does sound interesting, but I have no idea what this is actually about. Sancha Grado, Grado is a thief and a damn good one. That is starting a good. Just say that and I'm sold. And her latest target, a heavily guarded warehouse on Tevan's docks is nothing her unique abil abilities can't handle. But unbeknownst to her, Sancha has been sent to steal an artifact of unimaginable power, an object that could revo revolutionize the magical technology known as scribing. The merchant houses who control this magic, the art of using coded commands to imbue everyday objects with sentience, have already used it to transform Tevan into a vast, remorseless, capitalist machine. But if they can unlock the artifact secrets, they will rewrite the world itself to suit their aims. Now, someone in those houses wants Sancha dead and the artifact for themselves. And in the city of Tavan, nobody has the power to stop them. But there are those who may have the courage to fight alongside Sancha, like the hackers who practice scribing in secret, half a step ahead of the house's thugs, or the technological wizard who has bartered his soul for political power and beneath his cynicism, a way may be desperate for a chance to redeem it, or the constable whose eagerness to bring Sancha to justice is matched only by his need to hold the powerful accountable for their sins. To have a chance at surviving and a 
at stopping the deadly transformation that's underway, Sancha will have to marshal these unlikely allies, learn to harness the artifact's power for herself and undergo her trans own transformation, one that will turn her into something she could have never imagined. It does sound interesting. Sounds very interesting. So this will go onto my TBR, if I still have room. I am gonna have to make room. All right, so next month's theme is love yourself. And honestly, if this next month's box is similar to this one, and that's gonna be it for me. I'm not gonna, I mean, I don't have to pay that much shipping here, but that is not a reason to sus subscribe to, to them. I usually only want to subscribe for like, three or four months anyways, and then switch subscriptions so I can show you a wider range of different boxes, not only Owl Crate and Fairy Loot. <laughs> so um, I do want to uh, switch it up, but because Magic Chest isn't that represented in the booktube community, I would like to feature it more, um, supporting a fellow German. But honestly, I am extremely disappointed. Like. You can't really think that this is cutting it. Let me know what you think about this. Like, am I am I just too snobby or what do you think? Let's do the ratings real quick. Beauty. The main item wasn't wrapped or boxed. Um, other than that, it's yeah, it's all fine. Four to five points. Being special. There's no special goodies. There's no exclusive crafted item. Um, no exclusive services. Strictly speaking, this is exclusive. Uh, but there has been no ads or add-ons, so we get one out of five points. Unique selling point. It is a well-working concept. The information about the content is okay. Social media activity, so it's three out of five points. Service hasn't changed, and that is a three out of five points. And then worth, to be honest, just out of curiosity, how would you rate, like, what is this worth? What is your guess? The wooden door, paperback bookmark, and a small little notebook. What's this worth? What do you think? I'm calculating this up to, just tell me in like dollars what you think these are worth. And I have just, I've just done the same. Um, I included the book and I get to 29 euros is my, my guess for this plus the book. And 29 euros, what have we paid for the box? We have paid 35 euros. This is bad. So that is a worth rating of 0 0.8, which does not give you a point for worth. I understand that you have cost for the box, but we want value. We do want items and value, and it is up to you as a box owner to make this work and to still earn money, but include enough items so that we feel that we're getting more than our money's worth. This is called negotiation, it's called business, that's called curating things, and that's why I'm not doing a box, because I'm not sure if I could find all these amazing things and negotiate the prices for the for all the, the items in the box in a way that I can like earn money and still give people the feeling that they are getting something that is worth more than what they spent. Here, we have not gotten more than what we spent. We have gotten pretty much something that is exactly the same amount that the box costs without shipping, but I'm looking at what have I paid and what I've received. And this is not, has not been worth it. So in this at this point, I have to say, um, this box didn't deliver what they promised, to be honest. Um, so I'm not giving the point for this at this point. Um, the usability of items, well, yeah, okay. The originality, I'm sorry, but it's not really, these are not original enough um, because I do believe that these are items that I could get at a, at a dollar store. Maybe this is an exclusive design, maybe. And I'm not sh like, I'm not talking bad about the, the artist who did this design, not at all. But this is just not enough for a box like this. Uh, so this worth gets one out of five points. So this gets a total rating of 
12 out of 25 points and in this case this is a two and a five two and a half star rating which i find this box deserves i'm sorry i don't want to be mean i don't want to be ruthless i don't want to be like all renty and, and mean about these things and i want other boxes besides like the really big famous ones to step up and be a big contender and i want to get other boxes but no you can do a lot better than this and one more chance and then this is it tell me if i'm wrong open to your opinion if you like what you saw or if you want to discuss this um <laughs> I'm open to that. Um, still, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And um, if you want to see more of these kind of videos, um, hit that subscribe button. And before you leave, go check out my monthly giveaway where I give away all the items uh, from the subscription boxes that I don't want to keep. And you can count on all of the items that were in today's subscription box are going to be in a future one, but they're only going to be a small, small item besides a lot of awesome other items. All right, this is it for today. Sorry for rambling so long. I hope I am not totally off and snobbish about this box. Let me know. Until then, bye.